Dave here at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're looking at a 2022-2608 BS Rockwood Ultralight. This unit is 29 feet 8 inches from the tip of the hitch to the rear bumper. It's 8 feet wide like all Rockwood travel trailers. Um, not counting the Geo Pros, but the Minis, Ultras, Signatures are all 8 feet wide. Two entry doors, you had a rear entry door into the bedroom and main entry door into the living room slash kitchen. Two axles, standard electric stabilizers, two 30 pound bottles, electric front jack. That's a two and five sixteenth ball, as you'll find on pretty much every travel trailer out there. There's room for two batteries in the front. This particular unit came in at 68.96. That's what the options that's with slide toppers, solar panel, which is uh, standard on this model. Rockwood Travel Trailers have the at large uh, windshield, the automotive grade windshield. So large slide, this is where the theater seat and the dinette, the booth dinette fit. And that's the bedroom slide in the back. I want to show you this with the slides closed first because I want to show you there's two uh, sewer outlets. So this is the galley tank. This is the uh, outlet for the tank for the kitchen sink. So that's gray tank two, also known as a galley tank. And then this is your main outlet for the black water and the other gray tank. So most of the time, this is probably where you're gonna be dumping from. But once that sink uh, galley tank gets filled and I think it's around 30 gallons you're gonna be dumping that in there so I mention this all the time but we always order with the slide toppers and if your unit doesn't have a slide topper you should definitely get it just to protect your slide room from water and debris like pine needles and other leaves this is your main storage in this unit this is under the bed so you can actually lift the bed up you can see into here you'll see that later but um, this is your main storage area this model lots of interior storage but not a ton of exterior storage that's really your main, main storage Third, uh, 50 amp outlet in the back corner and your water hookups are on the other other side I like that they put that light so that if you're coming out at night you got to get out here you actually can see things ladder supports 250 pounds to get up to the roof and you should get up on that roof Rockwood recommends every 90 days, um, at least twice a year, I'd say the beginning and the end of the season, if you're in a seasonal place like New England, like we are. And that is a mount for the backup camera, not the camera itself. Uh, I get a lot of questions about that, but that's not the camera, but you can certainly get the camera that fits there. This is for um, bike carriers or for, um, uh, a rack that you can slide in 300 pound maximum probably gonna want to be moving this spare tire but it, you can't move the spare it's easy enough to move there with the bolts potable water fill in the corner outside shower this is the control for the stabilizer so there's two switches for those the back two and the front two they go down when one side hits first it stops the other side goes and then they both go at the same time that hole is where the crank would go if you had to manually bring that slide room in. The motor wasn't working for some reason. We got Goodyear tires, nice and dirty. This unit was just delivered. It's gonna need a good clean, but those are Goodyear endurance tires with nitro fill. Nitro is great because it doesn't expand or contract like regular air does in different temperatures. And it's pretty cold today, so pressure's probably a little lower today. This is where the griddle would mount. Actually, take it back. The griddle would mount here Sometimes they separate it, so you get a griddle on one one of these uh, racks, and then you have the outside table that would go over there. And it would come with both. The other storage is in the front. Again, not a huge storage area, but take what you can get. Those are your um, cranks. So the top one is for the front jack. If the front jack were to uh, not function properly, the motor doesn't work, then you can crank it up and down. The other one is for the slide rooms to crank those in if need be. Hopefully you'd never need to do that. They're very reliable. 
pretty rare that something like that would happen, but you always want to be safe than sorry. 50 amp cord, standard with the unit. The front kitchen of the 2608BS has tons of counter space, lots of storage, cabinets, drawers, a little bit of space behind the kitchen sink as well. And there's an outlet for your coffee pot or whatever you have to plug in. Space above the sink as well. Very practical microwave. We have an oven, three burner cooktop. This is the 11 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. You can see some of the goodies that Rockwood stores inside the camper when they're delivered. Good size freezer too. Standard on the 2608 is the theater seat. Theater seats recline. There's also a little middle section that comes down. Two cup holders, another outlet. You can even charge your phone or the device that you have with the USB outlets. This control is for the back, the bottom of the, the backrest. That cushion right there inflates or deflates for back support. Same on both sides. This side, you can open that up for storage, for remotes or what have you. But the other side, and I've seen this with some Rockwoods and how they design these, you can't really, I mean, you can, you can get in there, but it really brushes up against the back of this. So just be aware that the, one of the sides is not going to be easy to open. It's also in this model, there's really no storage behind the theater seats. I know in some models, you actually do have a little bit of storage behind there, but in this model, that is not the case. So, but it makes up for it storage wise other ways. Since we're looking at the floor, this is the Newport Ash flooring. The flooring is going to match the cabinetry. So if you were to get the, the autumn wood, it would be a little bit different. Not only does it recline, it actually goes almost flat, almost totally flat here. So you have the electric fireplace on, TV, sound bar. This is pretty nice. Love to be watching the Patriots on this, but unfortunately they were kicked out of the playoffs. But 20 year run was pretty good. Can't complain about that. Your AC and furnace controls are right there. And then water pump. So if you're not hooked up to city water, you got your water pump there. Tank heaters, 12 volt uh, heat pads on the holding tanks. Uh, water heater, gas, or electric option. You can actually run both at the same time or one or the other. Check your different tanks. So this model, not only does it have black, gray, black, gray, and fresh, it also has a second gray tank, which is a galley tank for the water that goes down the kitchen sink. So there's a additional outlet outside for that. And you can see the different set, um, empty third, two thirds full. That's for battery. You can see my battery is pretty sad right now. <laughs> That's a, a battery that we've been using for a while. I think it might be time to upgrade that battery. But your tanks, different tanks. Once you get up to about two thirds, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna think about dumping the tank, especially the black, the black tank at that point. Two slide out controls this is your main slide. This is the bedroom slide. Awning controls. Uh, it's super windy out today, so I'm not going to open this. And that's a good, um, it reminds me, you know, if, if, you, if you are getting heavy gusts, you know, like 15, 20 mile an hour or more, definitely don't want to put that awning out. Really heavy rains as well. You probably don't want to put that, that awning out. You want to be careful with that. Wi-Fi Ranger control, step light, awning lights, porch interior lights and i mentioned this in a lot of videos but so that controls all all the uh, main interior lights but you can also turn them on and off individually as well and then there's separate lights over the theater seat and the dinette 
So by the door, right when you walk in, there is a little room for your shoes, a little cubby for, for your shoes. Also have uh, the option to use this space as like a pantry with these shelves, but there's hangers there if you want to take these shelves out. They actually lift right out and you can use it for clothes or jackets or anything like that. So good storage space. Check that out in a little bit throughout the camper. In earlier versions of the 2608, they actually had a walkthrough bathroom. So you'd have to go through the bathroom to get to the bedroom and vice versa. But then they got smart and I don't know, four or five years ago, they moved the bathroom over to the side. So you actually have two doors, two paths to the bedroom. You have this side door. This is the main way to just bypass the bathroom. But you can also go through the bathroom if you want. Of course, if someone's in there, you're going to want that privacy. Keep the doors closed. Max Air fan. Corner shower. Shower miser. And additional storage here. One of the best things about this camper is the bedroom. It's got the bedroom slide, queen bed. It's actual queen, 60 by 80. You can walk around this bed. Plenty of room to get around it. You have, because of the way the bed is, you also have this sliding glass wardrobe. So great space for clothes. You get a lot of clothes in there, hang them up. And there's additional space underneath, probably puts like plastic totes that would fit underneath. They give you more storage. There's two of these drawers, very large drawers. Underneath the wardrobe. Access to the water pump and the water filter cartridge. And there, you just need to take the screws out. And then under the bed, you can see the storage that you can access from the outside. And also two more drawers. So lots and lots of storage space in this model. And additional space, just a little bit more in those cabinets above the bed. So I couldn't find the solar controller at first in this model, but then I realized they tucked it over here. It's actually by the rear entry door. So you can see what kind of, um, you know, your battery health and see what kind of amperage the solar panel or panels is bringing in. Before bringing the slide room in, I just wanted to show you the storage space in here. It's just so much. So those three cabinets open up and there's nothing separating separating them in the back. So that's like one large shelf, one large storage area. So there's two levels and then these drawers open up all the same. They'll come out this far. Storage above and the same thing. These cabinets go all the way, to, all the way across for storage. Right next to the microwave. Underneath the sink, a bit more. I think that that's actually outside. That's a you can access from the outside as well. And then the two drawers under the dinette. So from the main entry, it's out of the question to get to the bathroom. The good thing about this model is that there is that second door, so you can access the bathroom from that rear door without any trouble at all. You just go right past the bed, even with the bed slid in, you can get to that side door in there. You can access the refrigerator and you can run it when you're traveling because it is a 12 volt refrigerator. So that can just be running all the time. So if you had to get in there, you could without any trouble. Get to some of the storage under the sink, a little bit over there, but you're going to have trouble getting to anything else. So it's a big slide and it blocks off a lot of the, the space. So access to the bathroom from the rear slide room, you can see that there's room just past the bed to walk. It's really not too difficult at all if you had to go get to the bathroom. And this is a sliding door. 
so you don't need to worry about having to open it either way. It just slides, so you can access that. It's like that Rockwood took that into consideration when they designed this with the sliding door. All right, this 2608 BS is actually in stock at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Mass. You have a great day.